In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the surface area of a pyramid with base edge of 10 and a height of 15. Uh, I've chosen this particular problem with the height being given instead of the slant height to show you how we can use the height, and in this case the apothem, in order to find the slant height. Sometimes we have to do a little bit of extra work first to be able to find the surface area. All right. Uh, when finding the surface area of a pyramid, I need to find the area of the different pieces that make it up. And for this particular pyramid, it is a pentagonal pyramid, so I need to find the area of the base. One of the first things that I would do in finding the surface area uh, of a pyramid is to draw the base separately so it doesn't look shifted or tilted like it does in the 3D picture. So a uh, fairly decent, regular pentagon is what I would draw. It says it's got a base edge of 10, and I'm just going to find the area of this pentagon. Uh, if you forget how to find the area of regular polygons, there is a video posted that shows you how to do that. Uh, first thing we need is the angle measures, and I do know that the angle measure of a pentagon is 108 degrees. Again, please review back uh, if you're unsure on how I got that angle. The main idea for finding the area of a, tri of a pentagon is divided into triangles, and each of these triangles has our isosceles triangles with the base angles 54. I'm going to use the triangle formula, one half the base times the height. In this case, the height is called the apothem. And my base, I know, is 10. So one half of 10 times the apothem is going to be the area of one of those five triangles. I just have to find the apothem. I do that using trigonometry, so I'm going to do uh, the, this is 5 and 5, an isosceles triangle, the altitude always is also a median, so tangent of 54 degrees is equal to A over 5, where A is equal to the tangent of 54 degrees times 5. All right, so I found my apothem, I'm going to go to my calculator and type that in and get an approximate. So 5 times the tangent of 54, it's approximately 6.88. Uh, but I like to just leave it as that when I'm doing my calculations, so approximately 6.88. Okay, so to find my, um, my area of one of these triangles, be half of 10 times the apothem. And my apothem, my 6.881909602, etc., is stored in the calculator. So I'm just going to multiply by 10 times a half, which is really times 5. So one triangle has an area of 34.40, approximately. And there are five of those triangles. So the area of the base is equal to 5 times the area of that triangle, or approximately 172. Point zero, and we're in centimeters, so centimeters squared. So I found my area of the base. And now what I need to do is find the lateral area. And the lateral area is made up of five triangles. All of these triangles in this pyramid, it's a, a right pyramid. Regular pyramid, regular um, pentagon, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but that's what I'm working with, a regular pentagonal period, pyramid, uh, where all of the lateral edges are isosceles triangles. So to find my lateral area, really I'm just finding the area of one triangle, and then multiplying by however many triangles there are. Well, it's a pentagonal pyramid, so there'd be five triangles. Now the triangle I need to find the area of, it does have a base edge of 10, just trace one of these in green, alright, so it's got a base edge of 10, and that length, the red, red segment, the slant height is what I'm going to be using, so draw it in red. If I can find my slant height, then I would have enough information using one half of base times height to find the area of that triangle. Well, 
If we look inside this picture here, it's kind of a little tricky to see, but the height of 15, the apothem, and the slant height form a right triangle. Remember, height is always perpendicular to the base, and then uh, the apothem is here, we're hitting, at the, hitting the height, and that would be the hypotenuse of the triangle, the slant height. So to find L, well, L squared is equal to 15 squared plus the apothem squared. And I know the apothem is 5 tangent 54. So I'll go to my calculator and type in 15 squared plus parentheses 5 tangent 54. And square that. That's L squared is approximately equal to 272.36, and there's more numbers there, but I'm just going to hit second square root of the answer, and then I get that L is approximately equal to 16.5 centimeters. Um, I'm going to leave it stored in my calculator there because I'm going to use it in my next calculation. The area of the triangle is equal to one half of 10 times the height of the triangle, and this height is L. So take what I've got in my calculator, times 25 times 10, and I get the area of one triangle is approximately equal to 82.52 units squared. Now, the lateral area is the area of one triangle times 5, so I'm just going to take what's stored in my calculator and multiply by 5, and I get that the lateral area is approximately equal to 412.58 units. Uh, I rounded this one to the nearest tenth, so I'll do the same here. 0.6. For rounding, just follow the instructions that your teacher gives you. If they say round the nearest tenth, you round the nearest tenth. If it says round the nearest hundredth, then obviously you want to go further. But the best thing is to not do any rounding or don't use the rounded answer. Store as many of the answers as you can in the calculator as you're going along, so that way you're not rounding until the very end. All right, so my lateral area is 412.6, plus uh, 0 0.6, and so my total surface area is equal to the area of the base plus the lateral area. I'm going to take my lateral area. I'm going to add in the area of the base, and that's approximately 584. 0.6 centimeters squared. All right, so finding the total surface area of a pyramid, you got to find the area of one base, find the area of the lateral, find the lateral area, and add those together. The work that we had to do before we could find the lateral area is we had to find the slant height. The slant height rests on the surface of the pyramid, so that's it actually is the height of each of those triangles that are formed. Uh, this particular problem, we were given the height and base edge. It's possible that you could see a problem where you're given the lateral edge and the base edge, in which case you would use a different right triangle uh, in order to find the slant height. And I'll post a video that just shows how to do that uh, without going through the whole process of finding the surface area of the pyramid as well. All right, so finding the surface area of the pyramid. It's the area of the base plus the lateral area. In this case, the lateral area, they're all isosceles triangles, and my base was a regular.